We all know of the country England, whether it be from pictures, postcards, books, or TV. We know it to be cold, wet, very grey. But pictures and books weren't good enough for me. I knew I had to see it for myself. Now I just need to find someone. Oi, This is where the story begins. No, not here. Here. Hell yeah. Oi! Englishman. So, I know you as the captain, but what's your real name, bud? My name is Jack. Well, no, it's not really. My real name's Oscar. Oscar? <laughs> 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 My mum and dad wanted to call me Jack Oski Alec because my initials would read out joy. <laughs> but the uh, grandparents thought it'd be gay, so to please the grandparents, they uh, birthed me Oscar Jack Alec. Whether his name was Oscar, Jack, Captain, or Joy, I was intrigued. I had to know more. So, Joy, tell me, what is your favourite thing to do? Street drinking is a favourite thing to do. <laughs> Skating, punk rock, gigs, and live music. And is that it? Is there anything else you like doing? Smoking and drinking, I <laughs> Just a rundown on growing up here in the middle of fucking nowhere. What was it like? Good upbringing, 12 years old, and fucking bottles of vodka, and then just lord them up like that, bang, straight down onto the skate park. That's how a Kiwi pours a pint. <laughs> <laughs> what part exactly of England you live in? At the moment, just on the outskirts of Cheltenham. Live in this lovely place with the messes and a bunch of horses, yeah. Take the ghost. Take the ghost, it's always around. He just tears a quad bike around and occasionally harasses me whilst I'm working. That's about all he does. <laughs> a bit of fruit salad is there, there. What do you do for work, mate? Working with horses. Picking up shit, cleaning stables, putting them in the field, bring them out. Maybe I just do gardening. Make it look alright indeed. He said he picked up horse shit, and this I had to see with my own eyes. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna pick up horse shit. Apart from being a funny guy, the captain was also a very hard worker. Once the poo pick was done, it was time to move on to the next job. Uh, you just gotta get these uh, horses in now. Nay. <laughs> I decided to stand right back and not take my chances of getting kicked in the face by a full grown horse. But to be fair on the stable boy, it was nice to see a man happy with the work he was doing. With all the hard work done for the day, there's only one thing on the captain's mind, and that's food. Bangers and mash. Yeah, bangers and mash. I love it. What else do you eat? A bit of tomato, a bit of mushroom, every single day now. Here I am whinging over it. 
Chloe's favourite food. She's cheap to feed, didn't he? It's a pound. <laughs> <laughs> One pound. One pound. So I don't think I have any more. I've only got five. That's, 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 <laughs> anyway, it's a piece of paper you give someone at a shop, they then let you have stuff out of their shop. It doesn't do much, it doesn't mean fuck all. Although the captain said it didn't mean fuck all, he did quickly stuff it back into his wallet, probably because he knew it meant more of these. We decided to count the money we had in our wallets and take our chances on an adventure. Look out from Johnny Depp! <laughs> oh, let's roll. Just give me a quick description of what that is. It's old English. You drink it as quick as you can. You can then hold it with one hand and then you can take it a little bit easier. I'm not even sure if the captain knew what he had just said, but it was okay. We were on the road on another one of Captain's crazy adventures. Eventually, he led us all the way into town, where later on we would meet with his friend Ted. But first, let's have a look at one of those bloody big British castles, like the ones you see in the magazines. Fucking know what I mean. And how about some Doc Martens? And while we're looking at things, who knows we'll look at this British kid walking across the road. Pop me a little toff. All right, enough. Let's go and meet Ted. This is the captain's first mate, Teddy. Now, despite the sour look on his face and his shabby appearance, he's actually a very nice lad. Teddy is a young, aspiring actor in pursuit of a career in being outrageous with a fond heart for drinking, poetry, and ends his sister, Neela. The pair of them create punk star on the image of society and it's beautiful. And where else better to meet the locals than here? At the local pub. Now if you enjoy drunk conversation, I invite you in to watch us drink a beer with Teddy. And all the others we drunkenly talk of as sisters and brothers. Yates is toilets with cocaine. Yates yeah. yeah. is systems of powder with cocaine. And out in the rain, the sun waits for a fire. The pack is lost in the dust. Get the fire. Back to the pub, shorts of book. Now, I couldn't figure out if he was speaking riddles or rhymes. I couldn't make sense of anything. But it was okay. We were having fun. Pause for Jackie Allen. Shit, man. <laughs> this 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 cider though, like you could put fucking ice on it. No, you couldn't. You look weird and weird. I am. Fuck off. You look quite healthy. I call myself toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Get out of my way. I fucking love this horse, man. Rabbit stew. Gable Holmes. Without a moment's rest, the next day was upon us. <laughs> After the captain had gobbled down some breakfast, put on a clean shirt and acquired a funny shaped hat, we were on the road again. Then the captain took it to a whole new level. Let's get medicated. Man, let's get medicated. Let's get medicated. Man, I'm hella faded. Let's get medicated. Let's get medicated. Man, I'm hella faded. 
Control. Let's just let's just go back to the interview. Let's just go back to the interview. Really? So you've been around the world. You've been traveling. Where'd you go? What'd you do? Didn't do a lot. <coughs> she's said more. She's done more. Favorite spot was probably Cairns in Australia. Really. Meeting Missy in Stricken. Not nice. Then I met with her in Adelaide. And then I went to Melbourne, and she went back off Stricken in Not nice. That's what happened. I went to Melbourne after Cairns. Which is intense, small little mining town. I was working in the caravan park, emptying litter bins, cutting grass, <laughs> grass, <laughs> grass, <laughs> fizzled out a bit. Yeah, we went to and then went to Indonesia, Bali. It was just off Lombok, a little island, in Turin, living in a tent. And, like drugs was just everywhere, no peace. Nice quiet island, like, built for Beckett's. We met you there. <laughs> Bonnie and Sky were there. Tan. There was one pub club slash thing every Wednesday. Just like the most hardcore punk rock. <coughs> minor threat. Just yeah. Indian. It's fucking awesome. It gives me better. Let's what happened next? How'd you end up back here, picking up horseshit for a living? Thailand, living in a tent, well off season. Vegas at the time. Who the missus got a little bit fucking miserable with each other and she wanted to go back. I know I can stay up, you know, I'm not saying I'm a job because my friends are living He must have been too parched because I couldn't understand a single word he was mumbling. And God for Christianity, get him the escape park. <laughs> <laughs> in 24 years of life, do you have any regrets, man? Um, regret what I have not done. Not regret what I have done. Right on, brother. Far out. So, Oscar, do you have any advice for the people out there watching? No, at the end of the day, just have a fucking laugh and yeah, fuck off. And that is exactly what happened. Oh, oh, hello, hello, hello. Yes, please. Sorry, thank you, thank you. Sorry, thank you. Yes, please. Oh, 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 oh,